Hey guys, welcome to the shores of uh, beautiful Lake Superior. I'm out here today on a ride, and I just wanted to show you a recent purchase I made. Uh, this is the original wheel that came with my Surly Pugsley uh, Necromancer, also known as the Black Ops. So it uses the Surly Rolling Darrell rim, which is a 80 millimeter rim. Uh, this bike came with the Surly Larry 3.8 tire, so essentially four inch wide tire. Uh, if you haven't seen a lot of fat bikes, even this wheel looks cartoonish to you. But what now Surly does offer is the clown shoe rim. So that is a 100 millimeter wide rim. You're getting uh, basically to about the rim width of a motorcycle. And they have a series of tires uh, that come in around 5 inches. So this is the Bud 4.8 which is designed for front tire use. Hard to see the tread because there's snow. But in comparison, this is a little more of a lower rolling resistance tread. This has a very aggressive knobby tread. Um, so the conditions I have right now, we don't have that much snow really. Uh, this tread pattern really is kind of overkill and the flotation is kind of overkill for what I need right now. Um, but one other thing about it is it, it's actually, it is taller. So the diameter of it is bigger, which has advantages on any sort of rough terrain. Uh, basically the wheel is going to roll over stuff as opposed to into stuff even better than uh, this wheel combination does. Um, but it is, that tire is a really slow rolling tire. It's not particularly fast. I'm um, curious, I'm going to do a ride today where uh, we're going to get into some fairly rocky terrain. So I'm curious to see how it's going to handle it. Uh, but once we get into some serious snow conditions, uh, I'm curious how this is going to fare. It should provide superior flotation. Um, that said, this Bud 4.8, you can run it on the Rolling Darrell rim, uh, but Surly says it doesn't give it right the appropriate shape. Um, it was, basically the tire was designed for this clown shoe rim. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm pretty impressed by uh, the grip it has. Uh, it's definitely more grippy in the snow, but snow is kind of a really neat thing because uh, it changes all the time. You know, you can have, it may not even snow, but from it, within 24 hours, the snow can change and be totally different and require a totally different tire, totally different air pressure. That's one of the cool things about snow. So yeah, that kind of puts it into perspective. I have an actual photo that really shows the size difference. Maybe I'll post that here so you can see it. There you go. So yeah, essentially a five inch wide tire. Um, the wide angle lens on this GoPro is gonna make everything really look narrower than it is, but uh, once you see it in person, it's, uh, it's almost cartoonish to see. But it, it's definitely gonna have its uses. The rougher and gnarlier the terrain, or, uh, or just kind of semi-packed snowmobile trails, I think is where it's really gonna have an advantage. You're less likely to, to cut through. Um, you're gonna stay on top of it instead of cutting through to some of the harder snow underneath, what can affect your line, you can throw your tire around. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be uh, a cool, cool wheel tire combination to work with this winter. So, thanks for watching.